Welcome to Cool Happenings. Everything I find cool and amazing. Your one-stop channel for all your accessible tech solutions. Hey there! Subscribe to my channel and also press this bell icon. So you never miss any new updates cause whenever we upload new video you will get a notification on your phone. Everyone, good day uh, to all techies out there. First I would like to thank the uh, Cool Happenings Tech community for inviting me to do, do this tutorial. Uh, today I'm going to talk about translators. Yes, you have many of them on, on, on the Apple App Store. So many of them. Funny enough, most of them I, I stand to be corrected but a large percentage of them make use of the Google or either Google or, or Microsoft um, language um, translation uh, system so today i'm just going to i'll briefly talk about google translate and microsoft translator um, first let me highlight the differences google translator supports small languages if i'm not mistaken google translator supports over 100 languages that is one secondly google translator supports more African languages than Microsoft Translator. Um, if, if I if I may recall, the, I'm sorry, the last time I checked, Microsoft Translator supports just 60 languages, and out of these 60 languages, only two of these languages are African languages. That's Kiswahili, and um, I think um, Afrikaans. Uh, but Google Translate supports. So many African languages, too many to count, like Kiswahili, uh, uh, there's this or that one. Uh, of course, many, Niger many Nigerian languages, Igbo, Yoruba, Hausa, and so on and so on. Uh, secondly, um, one big edge. Google Translate has over Microsoft Translation is in its accuracy. Google Translate is more accurate in translation than, than Microsoft Translator. That is one that is one important edge it has. But then if you may if you ask me, if I have to choose between Google Translate and Microsoft Translator, I will go for Microsoft Translator for just one simple reason. Microsoft Translator has, I mean, the, the, the iOS version has a browser extension which enables you to translate web pages. That is one big edge, one important edge, and uh, Microsoft Translator has over Google Translate. And that's one main reason why, you know, I will choose. Microsoft Translator over Google Translate anytime, any day. Uh, because now, if you have Microsoft Translator, if you have um, Google Translate, um, it is difficult, if not impossible, for you to translate web pages on your iPhone, which um, is not um, is not. I don't know why Google has refused to. Um, add a browser extension to their <clears throat> to their browser. Um, I hear I don't know I, I've not confirmed, but I hear that um, on shortcuts. If you go to shortcuts, you have um, this, there's this shortcut for translating web pages, which means you don't have to have the Microsoft Translator app on your on your phone if you to translate any language. But I've not tried it, so. I, I will search for it after this tutorial. So um, today I'm going to. By the way, this this podcast will come in two parts. Part one, 
I'm going to demonstrate how to use Google Try Microsoft Translator in everyday conversation. So let's say you, you came across someone you will want to chat with on the internet. Now this, this person doesn't speak your language. Uh, he or she speaks maybe Malay or Kiswahili or Indonesian and then um, how do you translate how do you do that how do you translate with someone who doesn't speak english you use microsoft translator it's as simple as that so i'm going to demonstrate <clears throat> to you how to use microsoft translator um to converse you know with um, someone who doesn't speak your language so let's go um i'll try and open the app one notification whatsapp Two minutes ago, Jacques Chiquado at State of the Nation. Microphone, voice message, PD Felment, one new item, page five, WhatsApp, voice, void, US, Twitter, tune in, true caller, translator. So open translator. Translator, close button. Sorry. Close, welcome. So welcome, that's what you will be greeted with. You'll be welcome to the app. <clears throat> now, after the work, after welcome, what do you have? Voice, welcome. Voice translate text translation you have voice translation. Voice translation. Button. If you want to, you may choose to translate via voice. Text translation. You have button. text translation. Start conversation with multiple users. Button. Start conversation with multiple users. Now let's click on this. Start close button. Join conversation. So here, this is what you have under start translation with start conversation with multiple users to join the conversation ask the host for the code then type or scan you hear that to start a conversation ask for jo to join the conversation ask the host for the code then type or scan yeah ask for ask the host for the code then type and scan enter the conversation code text so field. this is where to enter the conversation code you have an edit view for that, but if you want to scan the conversation code, the next button should be of help. Capture conversation code with camera. Button. Capture conversation code with camera. And then join the conversation. Join the button. conversation. After you must have captured the conversation code, you have the join the conversation button, which is dimmed because I haven't uh, typed any conversation code start conversation so start conversation basically this is this that that's all on the that's what you have on the Clo join conversation join convers close um, button start multiple Welcome. conversation voice text start conversation with multiple users so start, button. start conversation with multiple users then the next item you have is image translation image button. translation now this this button is for translating photos if you want to translate a photo now if you click on it um microsoft translator will ask for your um ask it will ask to access your camera and uh, i don't want um i don't think for now I'm, I'm not interested in this this feature so what do you have next recent translations recent Button. translations this is where you have all your translations as uh, what you've translated in the past so let, let's 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 let me click on this history heading done selected recent button recent. one pinned button two, so you two. have two items here recent and pinned selected recent, like recent, i said earlier button. this is where you one have your two. recent translation pinned button now two pinned, two. if you if you pin a translation let's say you you, you, you held a conversation with someone and you hit the pin button this is where it will go it will go to the recent translation uh, um, tab it will go to the recent translation tab and um, and this is where you you find it you find it under pinned translation select pinned button two yes, two pinned. search field history history done button so let's leave this um, tab welcome voice text start image trap recent trap phrase book Facebook. yeah phrase book this is very very important so let's let's, let's see what we have on that on that phrase book phrase phrase book heading close button so on that phrase book we have 
items like favorites favorites this is where you have your favorites essentials essentials travel and directions travel and directions now essentials essentials okay let me click on essentials phrase book back essentials heading so what do you have under under, under essentials greetings greetings heading. hello added hello. to favorites hello double tap to remove from favorites so you can you may choose to add to favorites hello added to favorites yeah tap to i already added it to favorite but if you want to add this hello to favorites you talk you double tap and it will be added to favorites hello goodbye goodbye tap to expand tap to expand goodbye double tap to add to favorites button well, i'm yet to add this one to favorites excuse me tap e to expand excuse me is also part of it excuse me please tap to so, expand let's please. just leave this the phrase essentials greetings essential phrase phrase book back button essentials greetings essential phrase book back so button, button essentials travel and lodging you have travel and essentials travel and directions travel and directions lodging lodging dining dining time under date, each tab numbers. under each item you have phrases suggested phrases phrases suggested by microsoft translator you know phrases you may use when you travel out of the country you know when you travel to another country where you don't speak your language so this 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 these are these are items you have suggested phrases you know under these items you have suggested phrases health but really what i'm looking for is uh, emergency source language selection source English. language selection Button. source language selection and destination language selection malay button malay. so my source language selection is english because i speak english and then um, source destination language selection malay button destination language uh, language selection i choose malay because i want to do this translation i want to translate a phrase to malay and then i will send it to the admin of this youtube channel dr erwin so languages swapped languages Currently, swapped from english to malay languages swapped from english to malay languages so swapped. basically that's Currently, what you have here phrase book close favorite close, close. button welcome and voice um, tra text tra start image trunk recent phrase book settings but settings you have settings button. settings which is the last tab let's see what we have under settings settings heading under settings we have items like done help and feedback help and feedback general heading general under general you have speak translations auto plays translated speech yes yeah, speak speak translation you heard that right speak yeah speak translation auto please and auto please translated speech speak trans preferred speak translations auto plays translated speech switch button on it is on preferred gender of voice for speech output selected female, female. button I choose female for this male button There's also you may also choose male if you want translate profane words recognized in speech display and auto play profane words recognized in speech translate profane words recognized in speech display and auto play profane words recognized in speech switch button on yes these are slow down speed of audio translation on repeat plays playing the audio of the translation repeatedly will slow down the speed of the spoken translation making it easier to follow and learn okay slow down speed of audio yes. translation on clear history button so these are the items you have languages heading offline languages translate text and images without an internet connection button Safari translation language translate web pages in Safari using the translator Safari extension button. Yeah, this is I think this is one of the most important um, um, features of this app. And then um, if you let's say you came across an article on the internet, which and that article is uh, is not in written in your language, you may choose to translate it to your language but we are coming to that um, I, 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 I'm coming to that definitely I will talk about this feature um, in the part two of, of this podcast so set it done button let me translate Welcome. something I w I'm going to translate a phrase ciao voice translate text translation button type to translate text field so let me translate editing. let me Character type mode. a phrase insertion point at start let me type a phrase hello Dr. Ewing good evening how are you today? 
G, Gonk G, Gonk H, Hota H E, Echo E, L, Lee L, L, O, Osk O, Space, Space Shift, Sub D, Del D, R, Romeo R, V, Victor, Space, S E, Echo, Shift, so E, Echo, E, R, Romeo R, W, W, I, in I, N, 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 Space, G, Gonk G, O, Os, O, O, F, D, Del D, space, space, E, F, E, V, V, E, F, E, N, 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 I, I, N, 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 G, 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 space, space, T, Tang, T, H, H, I, I, S, 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 space, space, shift, sub, S, C, S, A, A, G, H, 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 E, F, E, E, F, D, 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 space, space, F, F, R, 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 I, I, delete, I, O, O, M, M, space, space, shift, Select L L A A G G O O S S space spec shift. Select N N N I I G G E E R R R I R A A A space space delete delete space space night space. H H H O O W W space space A A R R R E E space space R Y Y O O U U V V delete V space space T T O O D D A A Y Y more number question mark question mark. So now that I'm done with this writing, what I want to write, I hit the done button. Now done is where you have the. The done button is where you have the return button. So done. Done. And the moment you click done, your your freeze will, will be translated immediately. Done. So done. Translated text. Okay. With Hello Dr. Erwin. Selamat malam. Ini Sahayat dari Lagos, Nigeria. Bagaimana keadaanmu hari ini? So that's what I just translated. So now, um, let me share my translated um, phrase to Dr. Erwin. Now, how what do you how do you go about it? Share, pin translation button. Now, if you want to pin this translation, if you click the pin button, it will be sent straight to your. Um, to the recent translation feature. Share. Next to pin button, you have share. So let's share. Let me share it. Share. Close now, button. Enable are, airdrop sharing button. Th there are two ways of sharing your phrase, your translated phrase with uh, with the recipient. You either copy it to clipboard, and you go and paste it to wherever you want to paste it to it could be whatsapp it could be facebook it could be twitter or any or any other social media app but um another way of sharing it um another way of sending your translated phrase is by sharing this lead straight to screen dim whatever social airdrop. media app you want Tap to, to turn on wi-fi and bluetooth to share with airdrop sorry you want to send it to so i will I'm not going to copy because it's, it's a bit stressful. So let me just share it straight to Dr. Erwin. Cancel, enable, ena enable, edge, enable, edge, cancel, 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 but more, but short, save, save, copy, more, proton, mega, open in WhatsApp, button, okay. drag, alert, touch ID for WhatsApp. Translator, cancel, sir, my step, frequent, angel, rookie, three, six, partis participant, recent chat, two, zero, zero, participants, Elijah Erwin. Okay. Select Elijah Owen. Selected Elijah Owen. Next. Next button. Text field is editing. Hello, Doctor Owen. Selamat malam. Ini Sahid Dari Lagos, Nigeria. Bagay manakadan muhari ini. Character mode. Insertion point at start. So now that you have ascertained that um, what you translated is exactly what is exactly what you translated is what you have on your on the edit field. You send it, hit the send button. To Elijah, send button. Send. Send, dimmed. Select chats, share, translator. So that is basically it. That's how to use Microsoft Translator. 
in everyday conversation. Hope you find this um, podcast enjoy. Um, hope you find it um, informative. Hope you find it educating. Uh, my screen dimmed. Page five of six. The next Adjustable. part of this con- of this um, tutorial will be uploaded very uploaded very shortly. So. WhatsApp, 31 new items. Have, your, have yourselves a nice day and um, don't forget to subscribe to this channel, Cool Happenings Tech.